We have a very vast experience in building new and designing new new products. Uh, as you see on our booth, uh, we, we also have launched uh, this year on the TOC our new products. Uh, we have integrated now on all our different products the aerodynamic uh, girder. And uh, that has been very successful uh, in the past for us and we are looking uh, to a very uh, good future. Uh, the basis for that is that we have uh, a lot of uh, engineers, about 25% of, of our employees have an engineering background and this is the basis uh, for launching and designing new products. It's very important that we keep innovative uh, and this is also why Kunz has for example a, a special product line called the Special Cranes where we basically design uh, cranes from scratch uh, and this will keep our people, especially the engineers but also the product managers, uh, innovative and, and trained. The pace of automation is quite high. I mean, uh, when we look back in the, in the past, uh, we couldn't start it uh, 17 years ago uh, with, with our first uh, automated project. Uh, what we see right now is that in the, back, in the past, uh, most of the projects had been greenfield projects. Uh, but in the future, uh, there is, will be also automation in, in brownfield terminals, but also in smaller terminals, for example, in intermodal facilities. So there is a big market for automation on the, in the crane sector. However, I still think uh, there, there are still limited capacities, not only uh, on, the, on the supplier side, when it comes to software and electrical engineers, but also on the customer side. Uh, so it will be in the future still a step-by-step -step approach. Uh, and uh, again, I think the limiting factors are the, cap the capacities from the engineers, but also from the money side. If there is less money in the industry, there is definitely uh, less money. They will definitely spend less money uh, for new projects, for automated pro uh, projects. However, I still think that uh, if there is less money in the industry, they have to work on the efficiency. And efficiency is mainly driven by automation. Uh, and therefore, uh, not all terminal operators, but a lot of them will be uh, forced into automation in the, in the future. I don't think that all of them will be fully automated. I think that uh, certain terminals in the world will receive the very big vessels, the 20,000 TEU uh, vessels, and they will be heavily based on, uh, on automated equipment. But I still think that there will be uh, other terminals around, uh, maybe smaller terminals, and, uh, and, and I do think that they will run maybe more than on, on manual equipment.